Hello, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. So, a couple of things. First of all, I um, switched the drive I installed KSP2 to uh, from the HDD I have been using for literally everything to the SSD my um, OS is running on, so my Windows is running on. Uh, it does load faster from that. Uh, just as a little um, simulation of that, you, you saw how much faster that was. But yeah, um, it does load a little bit faster. Um, I'm pretty sure that reverting and everything is going to be faster as well. Um, we're actually going to try doing a little bit of flying today, because why not? Uh, maybe not that one. Yeah, I like that body a whole lot more. Um, we'll need some jet fuel, so just methane. Um, do we have an adapter for that? Oh, that's a methylox adapter, huh? We don't really need the one ton of oxidizer in there. Because I'm not going to use uh, rapier engines on this. <laughs> uh, this is basically just going to be a nice little... Um, Blash, panther... I don't know. I guess panthers are fine. Um, I just want to have a little bit of a fly around, uh, a flight around Kerbin, just to see. Um, what we're gonna do, hide the part manager over here for now, because, um, it's, it's honestly really, where, where, where can we put that where it really doesn't matter? Down here, over the tool tips, over the, yeah, that, 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 that helps, having it down here. Yeah, so I can click this without it ever getting actually clicked. Um, yeah, most of uh, why I uh, want to do this is because I feel like it. Uh, so that those are some big wings. Those are some long wings. Those are some stubby wings. Um. Can we change that? Those are... Yes! Thank you! What's... That's stupid. Why would they... Ah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Ah! Of the control surface. We can make those shorter. Position doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, um, I think wing span and wing angle should be fine like that. Root length can be a little bit longer still. The thickness, it's fine if it doesn't go very thick. Um, hip thickness can basically be zero. Uh, tip length can... Yeah, let's make that a little bit less stupid there. Yeah, that's good. I think that's fine. Um, and then we're just gonna move that a little bit back that actually looks like a wing and not like something that's really stuck on there yeah that that's that looks really cool actually 
Um, so, uh, center of mass and center of lift. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, that means we basically only need um, gear. And I think... Oops. The medium landing gear will be fine for that. And put that under the wing. And the small one in front here. Only one though. This should absolutely fly. Um, let's see uh, who's on there. Kerbal manager. Bill Kerman. What? Bill, what are you doing in there? You're not a pilot. <laughs> uh, and let's just send NC with him, I guess. Hey, hey hi, Bob's back. <laughs> I, I don't know why they keep coming back like that and don't, like, stay once you, like, have them back from recovering. Uh, also, this is not exactly where I want it to be. Um... Uh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, uh, save this as, um, I guess the, uh, rudimentary, how, how do you, how do you spell that? I never use that word. <laughs> Let's call it a simple plane. <laughs> and just launch that on the runway. Now, uh, until KSP2 is... Uh, in a state where we can actually um, do interplanetary missions a little bit better. Meaning, um, where we get to... Um, I'll just press... Oh, we don't have air intakes, huh? How do you actually burn without air intakes? Oh, dude, the heat effects on that! God damn it, that looks good! But yeah, um, how, how is this burning without the air intakes again? Oh, hi. Yeah, we're not taking off. Lift? Hello? <laughs> also, I totally forgot to do a tail wing, so we uh, actually have control over the yaw. Also, just in general... Um do you have... Steering, yeah, you do. Huh, cool. Yeah, I'm running at 140 uh, meters a second down the runway without any chance of taking off. Either we're not fast enough, or... The fact that I point the tip of the frickin' um, plane down by how I attach the things is causing that. But yeah, I don't have any side stabilization, so... Uh, this is a little bit... 
we have a little bit of side slip, let's say. Um, you don't have your control, please. Maybe turn off the roll as well? Or, I don't know. Maybe the authority is too high? I don't know. Either way, roll stabilization seems to be a little bit of an issue. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna fly over to the uh, island to see if the runway is still there. So yeah, until the game is in the state where you can actually do interplanetary missions a little bit easier, so big uh, stuff doesn't lag like absolute garbage, um, the or like at least is on a level of KSP one where you can actually like do a little bit bigger builds, um, and like docking is functional because apparently that's not completely working as intended. And fuel flow doesn't get fucked up by uh, landing lags being attached to your um, vehicle. Um, and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, we're gonna... Uh, just try out, try out the, the planes, try out, I don't know, building some, uh, building replicas of real life rockets, for instance. Um, yeah, having to turn on and off roll for it to not freak out is a little bit weird. We're doing fine on the speed, so I think we can cut the engines and just glide in. That uh, island runway is still there. And it's still as... And we're drifting! That's cool. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> yeah, that's the side slip you're gonna get from not having... Um, from not having... Uh, the correct kind of... Uh, like, back tail and stuff. Um, Bill, can you do me a favor? Oh. Well, apparently you can't. I, I wanted to explore whether you know, the, 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 the building here has collision or anything. But yeah, that very much is reminiscent of how it looked in KSP-1. <laughs> the island runway is still there. Good to know. Uh, we're gonna recover this. And then go back to the space center. <laughs> Why do I have the launch music while not actually launching anything? That's weird. Anyway, um... <laughs> We're also gonna try out whether we can actually build a boat. Because, because we can. But yeah, uh, loading is a little bit faster if you're on an SSD. That's uh, pretty evident. 
Um, yeah, let's actually try building a boat just for... You know, actually, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, um, see how well that works. If we just, like, take this, turn it sideways. Um, and then add, like, uh, some structural parts. Like, I don't know how big are these too big. Um, I guess that works. Um, I guess you don't... Yeah, you don't see that as, as being uh, a direction you can do that in, huh? Well. Either way, um, since this is considered up still... Um, the inflatable heat shield is still a thing, so I want to see whether that is uh, doable as a floating device. Is that If that's still viable as a floating device. Um, put that on the boat launch and let's see. I just want to really quickly see how this uh, works in, in, in water. If that's a viable floating device, it seems like that's floating. All right. Um, it's gaining speed by itself. Um, those are waves? Excuse me? Do we actually have, like, wave simulation? Um, okay. Physics. Physics, all right. Um, revert to VAB. Yeah, that goes definitely faster. Or not. I mean, you've seen how... You've seen how long it took me before. Is this still, like, not that much better? I mean, it's a bit better, I guess. Either way. Dude. Um, can we, like, use this? No, not maybe not this. Uh, maybe that's not what I want. Um, stabilizers. Yeah, that. That works. Um, as, as like, rotors. Actually... And then, like, I don't know, uh, fuck ton of, um, where is my, these. I hate that I can't freaking just hold, um, alt anymore while doing something like this. Why did that fuck itself what why why that makes no sense but hey I'm fine with it not making sense um, also maybe 
um, electricity. So we have enough electricity. One in here and one in here. Also like how you now can technically like um, build something together uh, outside of where you are, like here. Yeah, I can just take stuff off here and put it back on and everything and then put it back on here. Uh, that's a really huge improvement over how KSP1 worked. But um, yeah, a lot of other things aren't. Also, what I what, what I did, um, and uh, I kind of completely forgot telling you about that before. I that's fuel lights. That's not struts. Delete. I said delete. Click through blocker would be something that's on the mod list or something that should like come up. Um, why? Well, why are the, why? Makes sense, please. Yeah, then from here. I don't care. You still don't make... Oh, God, that's still the wrong thing! Why do I... Like... Ugh! Seriously. Don't need those few lines, like, 90% of the time. Why stood the uppermost... Thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, one thing I did, uh, m in terms of modding, kinda. There is a setting, uh, in a config file of the game that you'll find in the, um, app data local low, um, folder in, uh, Intercept Games KSP2, or Kerbal Space Program 2, it's actually written out, I think. Um... And that um, there, there's a there's a, a config file there where you can set uh, the rigidity of hello where you can set uh, basically um, joint rigidity. Game is running really badly right now. Don't know why. The game really doesn't like something right now. I don't know what. Also, the vehicle really doesn't want to turn. Even though I have, like, tons of... Guess we're gonna try the um, RCS engines or something for that. Revert that to VAB. Yes, revert. Um. So yeah, there's a there's a setting for joint rigidity. Um, which kinda, if you manipulate it by just adding a few zeros in front of the comma. Um. Kinda helps with wet noodle syndrome. I mean, you know how noodly the rockets are in this game. Even worse than in KSP1. Game really what doesn't like this. I don't know. Um, let me see. Uh, if I just use... Uh, the monopropellant engine, put like one here, the other one here. And then uh, you have 
monocrop in your thing. Yeah, yeah, you do. Maybe that's enough to start you up. Let's try that again. Okay. Gonna throttle down, activate the engines. Uh, turn off SAS, maybe? They really don't have a lot of thrust, do they? Yeah, uh, also the, the, the water really doesn't seem to, to, uh, want to work. I don't know what the hell is wrong with this, but it definitely doesn't do what I want it to do. Anyway, why can I not revert to VAB? Then recover the vessel. Sure, I don't care. Uh, don't look like I care. <sighs> We're gonna just really quickly time warp over the night. And uh, then, just to show you uh, the progress with the nudification, um, let's just really quickly build something long. Like, I don't know, pod uh, with just a parachute on it. Should be under utility. Um, and a decoupler. Decoupler and then just I don't know make it multiples of these I guess to have maximum nudification usually this would be bendy right uh, so let's just put a swivel under that and put that on the launch pad and uh, look how that flies. Pretty small rocket. Holy crap, that loaded qu quick. Um, but yeah, if I now do this. Bit unrealistically big um, smoke cloud there. Do you see how this does not bend? This is a whole lot more like uh, an actual rocket ship behave, right? to VAB. And just to really, like, drill that home how much you can actually fix the noodles. Um, eh, eh, eh? And, um, by the way, middle click on a part and you focus on that part. 
something I did not know and uh, only just recently uh, found out. So you just do this and you're focused down here, for instance. I don't think that this has enough for us to wait. Um, no, not the parts manager, the engineer report. Yeah, point three. That's not anywhere near the thrust away that want. Uh, so just be a little bit overzealous and put like this under there. That should be enough, right? Uh, main sail should be enough, honestly. Yeah. Uh, this is like incredibly huge, right? Very long. You'd, you'd expect this to bend. Um... It bends a little bit. This is like KSP1 levels of bendy. Because KSP1 actually did a pretty decent job at, uh... at stopping this kind of thing to happen. I still don't like that uh, the clouds glitch out if you have the vehicle against it. it. Looks a little bit stupid. Let's try landing this back. Like, without uh, heightening the um, the amount of, of rigidity in the um, links there. You can be pretty sure I'd uh, be pretty much uh, just bending the hell out of shape. And uh, there was actually no chance I would have uh, been able to fly this backwards like that without it like coming down weirdly. Apparently that was not high enough for the shoot to work. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, reverting, even though it is faster now as well, reverting really takes a long time for the loading. I don't know why. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this uh, basically makes it a whole lot. Actually, let me show you how much of a difference it is if I load up the... Load up the... Um, Elu thing. Is that the ELO ship? That's the ELO ship, right? The absolutely insane giant thing. Also, I'm just gonna say because, uh, the freaking um, 
folder that I mentioned earlier with the with the config file also has a folder with your safe and that also has a folder with um, like uh, your craft files like your workspaces uh, which means um, theoretically you could go ahead and send me your craft files uh, via email and uh, we could have a look at those uh, on one of the episodes. Um, you might want to, like... I mean, we, we did that once for uh, KSP1 as well. So if you've built anything that's, like, something you want to show off on uh, the channel for some reason... Um, you can just go ahead and like send me that via email. Uh, the email is on the about section of my YouTube channel. If you uh, click on the um, on the contact email there, you can use that one. Like the um, business contact email, so to say. It's not a business because this isn't a business. But yeah. <laughs> um. You can use that for that. Anything I get there, um, I will show off. Because well, we don't have anything else to do until we have uh, a more functioning game. Um, also, just gonna really quickly load this file up so you can see how less it, how much less it bends now. I have a feeling this is gonna take forever to load, though. Okay. So, um, Okay, yeah, this is still very much uh, seconds per frame. But you remember last time, uh, this part here was bending like out of shape over here and over here, like this, like a giant flopping, you know what?
Okay, uh, so as you see, it doesn't wobble as much. I, I hope that was pretty evident. Like before we had like something like this going on. Now it's just like a little bit of wobbliness up on top, which is fine for a rocket this size. Um, also, I don't think this is still is in any way playable. Like the frame rate on this is absolute horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the space center and just leave this there. That's actually flying there. What? Didn't know that you can do that. Um, that right there is the freaking ship flying away. I didn't know you can actually do that. So now you could technically launch something into the air and then try to shoot it with like a missile. <laughs> People are going to do that, definitely. Um, what I'm gonna do right now though is go to the tracking station and delete this thing. Cause, yeah. <laughs> that is... Um, gonna zoom in here. Destroy. Okay, that should take care of that. Uh, anything still flying around that we need to destroy? No? Good. But yeah, um... Hello. Gotta say, Eve looks really cool in this. <laughs> anyway, um... I guess now we can actually, like... The game back on <laughs> yeah that's better um as i said for now we're gonna like do some sort of um re building of of like or a replica building of real life rockets or something uh like i guess i'm gonna try for a falcon 9 and the falcon heavy where we can actually fly back the boosters because now we can switch in atmosphere that means we can do the back boost back burn on two boosters at the same time technically so um uh, the landing burn's not gonna be something that we actually can be able to do on both because i don't think that that's uh reasonable but uh we're gonna try it first with an uh with a with a Falcon Nine and then uh see if a Falcon Heavy is feasible. Um Yeah. Uh then of course we can do a space shuttle, we can do um I guess we're not gonna do the N one since, you know, big freaking rocket probably not uh something that the game will handle very well. Um Saturn V, I don't know. Space launch system, maybe. We're gonna have a look. Either way, uh, I'll see you in the next episode for that. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Until next time, my name is WWE Tadman. Bye.